guys! Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can prevent your memory card from corrupting because this happens because of some mistakes we make and it's really really annoying. I'm going to give you some tips, some do's and don'ts that you should take care to prevent this really annoying thing from happening. This has happened to me two times. The first time was when uh, I didn't format my memory card before shooting my footage. So I had some files already there. So I put my, my memory card on my DSLR and uh, I went, I recorded the footage and then I had my computer in sleep mode. I forgot to click the mouse or something so the computer turns on. The card reader was already on the USB. I pulled out the memory card from the DSLR, put it on the card reader. I did that when the computer was on sleep mode and wasn't completely turned on because when it is on sleep mode still the computer uses some power so this is not right you should always if you, the computer is sleep mode always turn it on first always click something so the screen shows something in the second case the corruption happened to me was one time i had already plugged the usb into the computer the card reader and uh, I had my memory card inside the card reader and I didn't move the files to another folder before starting to use them. I wanted to edit something in Photoshop. So I opened the memory card and uh, imported the file in Photoshop. That was obviously wrong. First you should, I will tell it to the uh, next tips. First you should move the files to another folder and edit them from that folder. I edited the photos directly from uh, my memory card and uh, suddenly the card reader lost the connection. It was like unplugging it, probably because it was a cheap uh, 3 euro card reader. My memory card turned into RAW. And then when I recovered some of the files, I will show the files how they were, I recovered some of the files and the photos uh, that were next to the photo I edited and the photo I edited was broken. You'll see now how they look. It's like some bits from the photos, some pieces they are missing. These tips are a combination of some things I have learned and most of the tips are from an article that really helped me and since I followed these uh, tips my memory card hasn't been corrupted. I will have the article if you are bored to see this video and want to read the article. The article is the best article I've seen which has to do with uh, these things. So the article is by Jeff Cable, a photographer. So if you want check it out I will have it down on the description box. So we should tell some things to get to know how the memory card works and how they are. The first thing is we must think of our memory card as a book and the fat table which is on our memory card we should think it as a table of contents. When you format a memory card you're not erasing the data you are cleaning the fat table. Alright, so it's like you have removed the table of contents but not the chapters of the book. The chapters of the book still remain. All the images remain until you shoot more and then they become overrated. You can see this on yourself by using a recovery program. You probably you may have already done this. You will find lots of deleted files even after deleting or formatting your card. You will still find some files. So, let's go to the memory card tips. The first tip is do not erase images from your memory card in your camera. This means exactly what it sounds like. Do not go through your photos and videos one by one, deleting them on your camera. By deleting individual images, your fat table gets scrambled. So keep in mind that when using your camera. Do not delete your photos and videos on your camera. Memory cards have gotten so inexpensive nowadays that you should not have to delete something to have space. Buy one more if you need uh, a lot of space. 
Just pop in a new card and keep sorting. Once you have backed up your food ads, format your card and then you can reuse it. Second rule, format your memory cards in your camera and not on your computer. You want to format the cards on your own camera and specifically do this on the camera you are currently working with. For hence, you should not format the card in one Canon camera and then move it to another Canon model. In case you're wondering if this will work, yes, it will work, but it could cause issues down the road. It is not a good idea to pull a memory card out of one camera model and putting it to another without formatting. Cards are formatted in a certain way based on the camera model. Each manufacturer does it on their own way, so keep in mind that. Rule number third, speaking of formatting, it's a good idea to format your cards after it's suit. This is one tip that really helped me. So once you have downloaded your card and have the images in more than one place, you should format your card before its next use. It keeps things cleaner on the card. Rule number four, use a good card reader. It is irrational to have an expensive camera and a high quality memory card and put it in a cheap card reader. All of the times my memory card has corrupted, I used a 3 euro uh, memory card reader. Rule number five, it is not a good idea to fill a card completely. The performance, just like the hard drive, suffers a lot when they are full. We should fill it to a maximum 80 to 90 uh, percent and then back up your stuff, format it and reuse it or just you can just use another card. The sixth tip, don't pull a memory card out of your camera or from your card reader when data is being uh, written or read from the card. If data is being transferred to or from the card and that process is interrupted, it's quite possible to lose some or all of your data, like happened to me the second time. When data is being transferred, a red light is flashing and you should wait for it uh, until it goes off and then you can take the card out. It is better to wait an extra couple of seconds after the red light on your camera goes off. The seventh rule is an extra tip from me. Don't view the files from the card. Don't do this directly from your card. First, move them to another folder, back up your photos on some place and view them from there, not from your card. Because the second time my memory card got corrupted was um, I had it on my card reader and I did something in Photoshop using the photo which were on the card. My card reader, probably because it was cheap, lost its connection with the computer and I did the editing and the files got corrupted. Rule number eight. If you have two card slots in your camera, Write your emails redundantly to both of your memory cards to have peace of mind. Usually this feature is available on top level cameras. This is due to the fact that it adds size as well as cost. If you have this feature and one card gets corrupted, you can most likely take the footage off of your other memory card. Rule number 9. Purchase name brand memory cards. I'm not going to to tell brand names because the main thing is you can use whatever you like, whatever brand name you like. Just make sure it's not made by a no-name brand company. The card is really important. You are trusting your images to the card, so be careful in what brand name you choose. It is pretty responsible to shoot with an expensive camera, an amazing high-quality lens and a crappy memory card. So that was the tips. I hope these tips help you as much as they help me. After applying them, my memory card haven't gotten corrupted. These tips can save you from a disastrous situation and keep your memory cards safe now and in the future. So I will list out some programs that help me recover the files. Doesn't mean that I was able to see the files, I just got them. In the second case, 
that happened the corruption I was able to get the photos but you saw earlier I showed them to you they were kind of broken the photo wasn't complete and uh, the videos uh, I couldn't play them I couldn't see them although I had them so I have tried around 10 programs to recover my footage and none of them was able to recover my files recover my videos as they were as they were on the beginning the videos needed fixed the only thing that fixed my videos as they were with both the sound and the video um, was a website called mp4repair.org it is an amazing site the video uh, got fixed and was exact like I got it from the memory card before it got corrupted but it is a real expensive website if you go and check it out of yourself you pay based on the quality of your videos and how many uh, minutes they are based on the length but the video is exactly like it was in the beginning I just want you to know that there is a possibility to fix your broken recovered videos and that in case of emergency you can use it so I will list some software I will have it on the description too some software we can try to recover the files first I will tell you some software that is only for recovery not fixing your broken videos just for recovery the first one is hard recovery the second one is easy US data recovery wizard the third one is remo recovery uh, the fourth is i care uh, data recovery the fifth one rescue pro ace of tech data recovery raise data recovery and ddr fat recovery and probably if none of this works for you then there's nothing that it can be done also for some software except for mp4repair.org that you can try and if your case isn't so bad it may work digital video repair and yorod video repair two software we can try for uh, video repairing so that was the video guys i hope it helped you i hope you use this on the future and keep the tips on your mind and on this channel I will upload photograph videos how you can improve your photography things I have to do with video and photo okay the next video will be on how to focus your camera when you're on yourself and nobody is on the house to help you so subscribe to see the next video and see you on the next video thank you very much bye guys and leave your comments if you have an extra tip for me. Thank you. Bye, guys.